My name is Jennifer Giandari and I am the platform manager at CRISP. I joined this group in 2015, I was very lucky to do so and that also brought me back closer to home. I chose CRISP over other research groups because what stood out for me is that it was always focused on innovation and cutting edge science and that's something I'm also very passionate about. What was also unique about CRISP is that we have different research groups which are part of CRISP and we have experts within those groups and all of these groups come together and actually support each other. So um, from researchers perspective this was really attractive because you know you have the support system here. At CRISP we have numerous high-tech instruments and uh, these span from DNA and RNA extraction systems which are automated. We also have automated library preparation systems, quality control instruments and we have four sequencing platforms. Apart from these instruments on its own, we also have the ability to analyze the data here ourselves. And uh, this can be done really fast. Basically, as soon as the results are off the machine, we are now able to analyze it on our own. And if it's beyond what we can do, we have a very strong bioinformatics team that helps support us with more uh, advanced bioinformatics analysis. So facilitating the setup of the CRISP lab was a long process, but from the beginning, CRISP had well-defined goals in terms of what type of research we wanted to do and what type of services that we wanted to offer. And uh, so I then went on, identified pieces of equipment, types of uh, tests that we would uh, then adapt within the laboratory. I spoke to local laboratories, went and visited them, um, looked at their setup in terms of equipment as well as quality management. We also engaged internationally. I visited the Sanger Institute in the UK where I had a look at their equipment for NGS as well as their setup and how they ran their service and research. I then brought this back down to our lab and started ordering equipment and reagents and then setting up our lab so that it can be uh, compared to the leading laboratories in the world.